All right, so when I was trying to download the Splatoon 3 Splatfest demo piece last night, I actually wasn't able to because I am running low on space on my SD card. And it's a pretty big one. It's like 256 gigabytes, I think, or it should be. Um, I know they have like, I think they have like terabyte um, SD cards now. At least the ones that fit in the Switch. So I don't know, maybe just as like an end game thing, just have one of those or maybe buy another 256 to have a bunch of the other games I, I have saved on there just for a rainy day. Um, but yeah, I was like, you know what? I got a bunch of demos. I know I have a bunch that I keep downloading for games that I am kind of interested in. So maybe it's time to finally go through and play them and see if I need to keep them around or whatever. See if they make me want to buy the game that they're demos of. So yeah, this one is called, what was it? Jade something, I can't see the Jade something. It's a, uh, well, we'll see right now. Let's take a look. The eternal conflict between the gods knows no end. Since the beginning of time, the clash of life and death has endured. Balance must be preserved. I always love these I, these stories where like the gods are like the Greek gods and they kind of keep meddling into the matters of human, like humans and stuff like that and earthly issues and don't just stay up in their, you know, their holy place and whatever. The goddess of life thrives under the glowing light of the jade moon. And in the long night of the eclipse, is that eclipse or eclipse? Eclipse. Her power awakens, her power weakens. The sacred beacons at the old buried ruins cast the only rays of light that keep her strong. All right. Oh, okay. The Ashen God of Death, this is the God's weaknesses. So the Ashen God of Death. Yeah, they're, they're probably the bad guy here. Um, darkest moment of the long night, he will unleash his Ashen Plague to defile the beacons and contain their light. Darkness will consume all. Probably not a good thing for us. Modern civilization. Careless of the old divine conflicts. Is that spelled right? I think it's missing an E. Modern civilization careless of the old divine conflicts is unaware of its impending doom, ignorant of their fate. Their souls will be claimed by force and nothing will stand. Well, damn, dude, if it's like the freaking monsters or minions of the god of death, I don't know if resistance would matter. Below the dark sky, the cry for help has been heard. A long exiled warrior wakes from a long slumber to protect the old Jade Order ruins. He will stand to fulfill his order's oath and vanish the Ashen Plague. The defied beacons will, be can will continue to shine. Balance will be preserved. This text would be a huge problem in handheld mode. It's tough to see here on my screen. I've been itching for like tile based or like things like that kind of like strategy games or even like Cadence of Hyrule kind of thing where you move square by square for some reason but I think Battle Network's the one that I'm gonna play to scratch that itch but I'll still give this one a try. Goal defeat the requested amount of enemies to light the sacred beacon. Once lit move to it and continue. So clear the enemies basically. Press A to move there. Oh my god so you have to hit them from behind or the sides. So this guy is not that strong, huh? Okay. So it's not like we're all moving to the beat of my movements, right? They, it looks like they're gonna stay in place. Oh. Oh. So these enemies are just kind of, kind of goofy, right? Oh, I can't move up because of a bush. Come on, this is the awakened hero of legend. They can't. Slice a bush open? Let's go, there's something over there. What's happening? I can't attack? 
Oh. Oh, okay. What is that? X? L? Oh. I can rewind a turn? Did that cost me anything? Oh, it costed me one coin. And then I got the coin back. All right, let's... Oh, wait. Oh, no, that's my turn. So it looks like eight turns is sort of the ideal amount. And I got the coin. The beacon. It hasn't explained the coins. Here we go. Each site has three challenge medals. Obtain the spark medal after completing the site. So that's just, you did it. Ancient coin. Grab the treasure before leaving the site in order to obtain an ancient coin along with its medal. All right, swift medal. Complete the site in the same number of terms or less as requested in the turns indicator. The ancient coin medal and the swift medal can be earned in different attempts. All right, well, I think I'd rather go for the other two first. Wait, hold on. Oh, just the ancient coin medal and the swift medal. Oh, okay, so you don't have to do it all in the same shot, it's saying. Oh. Alrighty. So this guy can't handle basic environments that are in the way. How many enemies do I need to beat? Three? Is that the red bar right there? The three dots? I could take down those two right there. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. And get the coin. Alright, so far, a little bit too good. Um, I think that was it then, huh? Three enemies. Oh, wow. That was 16 turns? Oh, but here, let me replay it and see if I can. Three enemies in 10 turns. Mm-hmm, not that way. Let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's the way, actually. I do know the way, Knuckles. What do you think about that? This should be it. Yep, yep just a completionist thing I guess once you get the coin I think that's the currency right I don't know what the swift metal does for you the music's kind of just whatever so I'm not really not really feeling it too much two more where's the exit does it just show up and oh is it where I started We're gonna have to introduce some new enemies, dude. I get, I get the basics now. It is where I started. Oh gosh, I'm way over freaking. They're basically, oh. Oh man. Wait, what the, where did I start from? All right, let's try again. Get it in 13. I can sort of see it. In, oh, okay, I didn't start at the at the end. I started at the beginning. How strange. What is the optimal path? 13, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Basically, if you don't go for that coin, you can get it pretty easily in the, the swift number of turns. see a little bit more depth here introduce a new enemy type or something here we go new enemies new enemies will be summoned on the field figure out their attack pattern in order to defeat them don't forget do not attempt frontal attacks if you ever get stuck on your path press L to go back the necessary amount of turns just restart it I don't we don't have lives or anything okay 
So is that not gonna tell me how to kill this guy? Let's see if he can kill me from there. Yup. Wow. I'm guessing being one space. What's up? What the hell? It's not just gonna restart? Interesting. Let's see if he can reach me in two spaces. Nope. Let's see if one hit is good enough though. Yes. So their attack pattern is different, but their health still just one. I'm not gonna make it. God damn it. Fine, we'll just go for the coin. The Doge coin. Some crypto crash in their party. Let's see. So far, it's okay. I'm not. I'm not exactly uh, blown away by this yet. Let me see the path. The eleven. Huh. I don't. Maybe I need a different weapon to do it. I don't. I don't think I can do it in eleven. Unless I could go in front of him, but the enemy shoots me if when I go in front of him. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's see. Wait. I don't know if I if I can do it. Let me go up top. Oh, that's right. Well, at least the restart's not too bad. I don't think it cost me anything. No, it's the same path I'm taking. I took before. Oh, there's got to be like some ability or something that can help me kill enemies or not get killed right away. Maybe the music was more bumping. Oh, it's right there. Oh, I, one, two, three, four, five. So almost all the enemies, huh? Let's take this guy down. Mm, what? Oh, okay, yeah, okay. Oh, from across the chasm. All right. The hero has been defeated indeed. I died. This hero is uh, quite fragile. Cannot attack him from the front. Yeah, tw oh, 25 turns. Yeah, they ain't even, they ain't even fronting. This is. Yeah, this is gonna be a long one. All right, let's go get that coin and get out of here. Yeah, the completionist in me would normally care about that swift coin, but I think I need a little bit of incentive, a blessing. Hold on. Twenty-five for five enemies. One, two, three, four, five. Nope, that'll kill me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then I gotta go back. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine. Mm -mm. One, two, three, four, five, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Two, three, four. Yeah, you know what? I don't see it. Let's um. Move on. Okay. Look at this chump. A blessing has been learned. You have learned time flow warp. Press X to access the blessings menu and select it. This blessing has a cost of one spark. Sacred sparks. 
The sacred spark lives within the goddess's tears that have begun to fall. Absorb the spark by moving the hero to the tear. Each tear grants one spark. They're the same thing then. <laughs> Just make it simple. Just be like a goddess's tear is what triggers a blessing or whatever. Um, it has a cost of one spark. Yeah, I don't know why they make it two separate things at one. How to cast. Select an enemy in range that can alternate positions. The selected enemy will be the only one to alternate and one turn will pass. Let's just, let's just put it in practice. Is the spark just that little green thing on the floor? So what's his rhythm? Like what, why is he, he's just going across? Oh, he didn't even, oh. Hold on. Oh, so what happens now? Oh, okay. Basically, I get to not move and everybody else does. Okie dokie. Oh. I guess if I had a dangerous life, I would choose that as my superhero power, be able to rewind like a minute or something. Otherwise, I don't, I don't know. It could have its uses, but if it's only a minute, then yeah, it wouldn't be that. But if it was like a day, then maybe we're talking there. That's something. What's the turn? 12? Oh, yeah. Two enemies. There we go. There it is. I mean, these indie games let you turn off the music, right? So let me see. I guess not here. Was that the number of turns needed? 12? Yes. Continue, indeed. I like the design of the hero. Kind of got this Power Ranger look to them. Which way are you gonna go? I think it just this one's just gonna go up and down. Yeah. I don't have a shard. Crap. Um, and two enemies only. I could go for the low hanging fruits. Will they use a turn to turn around and then move? Let's find out. Nope. I figure maybe turning around would be a move. But no. He's gonna move away. There's the shard. Oh, luckily I uh, take the spot. And then use this. Mm -hmm. Oh, you know what? Never mind. Now I use it. Now I can leave. And it was the required amount. Wait, what? Oh. So just, uh, let's see, can I do it? Oh, I forgot about this jump. Dang it. Just take him out of the picture real quick. Do I have to move? No. Yeah, you know what? Okay. Mm. No. 
Yeah, I don't know. That was it. It caught my eye because of the tile based nature, but so far I'm not a. I'm not exactly taken by the conceit. Thirty eight turns. What does they come? Well, let's see. Let's finish World One and see if it. Uh... Oh, that enemy turns. But thank God they go on that defiled space. Just one more enemy? Shoot, maybe I could have taken the other one down without the crystal. Oh well. Here we go. Mm hmm. I ain't getting a time. Oh. Wait, oh, but he was gonna turn around! Oh, hmm, I guess I'll have to use the crystal on him next time. It's one of those things like Cadence where it's like, if I can kill the enemy in the first hit, because you always get the first hit, then they might not be able to retaliate or whatever, but sometimes, if, or if you can't, then they'll be able to like bounce out and bounce back. It's like, Cadence is, is the bomb, I love it. It's so interesting. I still want to master it. And I still don't think I can get through a whole room or square without taking at least one hit yet. But I, I've gotten close. Oh. <laughs> this one. Um, will he come through? Okay, now we go. Now we go. Mm. That's like a wall right there, I can't... Let's see, I can follow him out of this trap. Yuppers. No, no. Oh shoot, what the hell? Wait, oh. No, but that's it. Okay. I think a banging soundtrack would do wonders for this. Because otherwise you're kind of just thinking and sitting. But the music sounds like the kind of music <laughs> that you would put for s sitting and thinking, but I want something a little more exciting. I just want... Well, I didn't even get like this, the time benefit. a death trap. I don't see any other way around it in this part. <sighs> that guy's gonna zap my freaking brains out. There he goes. Yep. Oh. Well, at least they don't penalize you for re like redoing your turn that's kind of nice actually you don't have to just restart the whole level and be like let me go through those same steps again so that's cool that's a very good quality of life feature oh crap uh oh yeah that's right so so far everything's happening the same as it did before i had to take him out to get that coin or i come up from there okay yeah i see it I see it now. Uh oh. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm mhm. Mm see, I could actually do the speed. Oh crap! Um, just wait for him to. Oh! God damn it! What a waste. Yeah, I, I could have just taken those weenies out.
Let me try to go for the speed thing. These first few steps are boring. There's nothing I can do to change the, the outcome. I think I gotta go back. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, I keep forgetting. Okay, okay. Nope, don't do that. Mm hmm, mm hmm. You know it, girlfriend. Oh, just one more. That's it. Oh, 21, 22, 23, 24. Oh, it's gonna be close. No. What happened? Damn it. I don't have any tears or whatever. 23. Ah, uh, what did I... Hold on, there must be... There must be some kind of glitch in the system here. Oh, that guy won't laser me though. So let me see. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh, wait, what the... Oh, shit. I now go back. Okay, here we go. Oh, I needed to kill two enemies anyways. God damn it. Hold on. Hold on. Come on, there's gotta be a way. Because that ain't it. Okay, I don't think I have a choice right here. And then... 21. I think I just wait. Kill this guy. Oh yeah, I can just do that. Nice. I wonder if their team is able to do it even faster. I always find that interesting how they settle on what the high, like, gold standard is for an achievement or whatever it's like they got players on their team or team members that could probably do it even faster or whatever but they're like well this one seems like the more feasible one and i wonder who they test for that should be almost at the end enemies look looks like the same ones i don't really have a choice here Is that guy turning? He is. Uh-oh! Spaghetti out. Nope, I was kidding. Didn't happen. Oh! Yeah. I was like, well, guess I'm gonna die again today. Imagine someone said that to you. <laughs> They get on like a bus or a train and they, you just hear someone next to you go, I guess I'm gonna die again today. <laughs> it's like, what? Again? What do you mean on this train? Why? Why are you gonna die again? When are you gonna die again? Oh shoot. Is there another crystal? Yes, there is. Just like how there's always another Dragon Ball, another Emerald, there's always another Crystal. And I'm gonna need it. To kill this guy. My Dragon Ball lore is so, so spotty. I don't remember how the Dragon Balls themselves work. There's seven, right? Then if you get them all, they bring them back to life. But what happens after you use them to bring somebody back to... God damn! 25, 26... Oh, way over. Way over. Actually, may as well go get the coin. Is this gonna work? Oh, god damn it, dude. I didn't get anything done this round. I should just start all over. He keeps facing me right when I... <laughs> oh, 
Oh, okay, just exit demo, no like, uh, even though you kind of ex kind of go like, eh, whatever. I kind of like that little splash screen at the end that's like, buy the full game to get all of these things and see all of this and find out what happens to them. <laughs> now that I'm not getting it, I'm kind of like, oh, I kind of wish I had that. It's just like, all right, exit. It's like, don't even go to the eShop or anything. It's just like, all right, fine, you played the demo and get out of here. <laughs> get out of here, you chump. I want to at least get one thing, the coin or the... That means I can't waste the crystal on this loser. Let me see if I can get him. IDK. I need it to get that other guy though, because look, there's no way. Mm. IDK, my BFF, Jill. I'm so confused. Oh, there's two crystals. God damn it. Nope, I'm not gonna fall into your trap. I'm also not gonna get it in the fast, uh, fast way. A fast enough speed to get the speed gem or whatever the hell it is. Just get out of here, move on. Jog on. I don't- I wish it would just pick it at default. I have to select it. It's like... Clearly I'm not gonna pick any other thing. There we go. Maybe I can... Well, no, my only goal right now is to... No? I need to kill someone else. There it is. See? Gotta do that. Jaya. Gosh darn it. Get over there. 52 moves and the go the optimal amount is 27. Alrighty. So, I mean, it's interesting, it's, it's, it's kind of cool, but I don't know, it just didn't really grip me, it wasn't exciting, but it also wasn't that fun strategically, like Into the Breach was or something. Man, Into, Into the Breach is so good, oh my god. Um, sometimes I wonder if I should just go back and play that <laughs> anytime I feel like I kind of want a roguelike experience. That and Isaac are the ones that did it for me. Um, yeah, this one was this one was all right. Um, I don't think I'll be buying the game. Apparently, there's three other abilities you can use, but yeah, I don't know. Just not that not that crazy for it. Let's see, audio. Oh. All sound and music, that's a first. Most indie games let you tinker with, you know, the effects, the voices, the audio, the like background music, all on their own separate channel. So you can have all the voices turned down if you want for some reason. Of course the music, but this one's like, you got one choice, buddy. What's it gonna be? Yep, they're all gone. <laughs> now I'm in this strange void. And I know my ears still work only because I can hear my own voice. Yeah, reset game. Okay. Not like we don't have save profiles or anything. No. Tortuga. <laughs> yeah. It was alright. I, I don't think I'm gonna buy it though. But yeah. It's a good thing there's demos. Sometimes it works the other way. Usually it does where it's like, wow, I really like this. And then I go buy it. In this case, no. It was good that I got to get my hands on it though and try it.